All right, so in this uh, video, we'll try to answer this question, or I'll show you on how to use cosine rule. So the first thing that must be coming in your mind when you see a question like this on trigonometry, it's supposed to check, uh, you're supposed to check, am I given all the sides? Yes, I'm given all the sides. Once you discover that you're given all the sides, just go for cosine. It means... For you to find the angle, you need to use cosine rule. So the question here reads, calculate the angle A, B, C. So we have been given all the sides and they want us to calculate angle A, B, C. So meaning the angle we're looking for is right here. That's the angle that we are looking for. So the cosine rule looks like this, the formula. It's A power 2 equal to B power 2 plus c power 2 minus 2 b c cos a this is a formula right here you have to master this formula you have to know it so after identifying your formula or coming up with your formula you now indicate that this is your b small letter b we have capital letter b here opposite to this b must be small letter b here, capital letter A, opposite, small letter A. Here, C, small letter C. Okay. So, we have now what we want. Do we have small letter A? Yes, that's a, a 2.5. And the power 2 here. Okay, so this is what we have. 2.5 and the power 2. This is our small letter A. Is equal to small letter B is 2.8 and the power 2 from the formula, okay? Plus, what about C there? Do you have C, small letter C? That's a 1, power 2. Minus 2, okay? Open bracket to show that we are multiplying. Our B is a 2.8 and our C is a 1. Because here there is B, C. And cos B here, cos B. We are looking for the angle at B. So we we'll say cos B. After reaching this point, we just now get our calculator, start punching out things. 2.2 power 2. This is 2.2 times 2.2. It's giving us a, a 6.25, which is equal to 2.8 power 2, which is 2.8 times 2.8. That is 7.84 plus a 1 minus, when we work out what is here, what are we getting when we multiply everything here, we are getting a 5.60 cos B. So when you multiply 2 times 2.8 times 1, it's 5.6. So now from this stage, we, we, we apply our mathematics here. So this, of course, will be 6.25 equal to 8.84 minus 5.6 cos B. Okay. So I've just added 7.84 plus 1. We now group the like terms. Okay. And when we look, like, uh, when we group the like terms, this is how it will look like. We shall have 6.25 minus 8.8. 84 equal to negative 5.6 cos b okay so here next we subtract 6.25 minus 8.84 we are getting a negative 2.59 equal to negative 5.6 cos b we divide throughout. Remember, we are trying to find the angle. We divide. Okay. So when we divide this side, we are going to remain with the cos B. While this side, when we divide, we are going to remain with uh, 0, 0 0.4. 625 okay so now to solve for b we just find the cos inverse so i'm going to say cos 
inverse over 0 0.4625 it will be equal to b so what is the cos inverse there so for you to do the cos inverse you just press shift on your calculator and then you go to cos you even punch this number you're going to get 62.5 degrees as your b so our answer here is 62.5 degrees in one decimal place thank you so much for watching this